Did you know that at my wedding day, I was gifted four, four of these, four. Oh, the slow cooker, the crock pot. This classic piece of equipment is actually really handy if you're trying to eat plant-based or vegan. I grew up in a home where every Sunday my mom would put dinner in the slow cooker before we went to church and then we'd come home and the house would smell amazing and dinner was done. Let's start with a typical Sunday roast. Now, of course, we're not gonna be using roast beef. Instead, we'll use mushrooms, but it does not sacrifice on flavor. The star of the show are going to be these king oyster mushrooms. And I'm going to actually shred them. These are really cool because they kind of look like shredded chicken and other shredded beef, other shredded products like that. After adding the shredded oyster mushrooms, I'm just gonna add some baby potatoes. Then I'll add in some onions. That's about two onions. And I really love celery. I'm adding in some celery. A purple sweet potato, because why not? We went out of town last summer, and before we left for a month, we put a lot of our veggies in the freezer, in the bag in the whole form. <laughs> I didn't want to throw it out. And so now I'm finally going to use these carrots. We'll add the carrots. And we'll also add some green beans. Now, if you wanted to keep this whole food plant-based, you could end it there. But my kids don't love mushrooms and they do love vegan meatballs. So I'm actually gonna add these in. They're just from Aldi and they make it so that everyone will enjoy this dinner. It adds a little bit more flavor. Totally optional, totally optional, but it makes it easy to keep my kids happy. And it's only occasionally that we do this. I'm not eating these meatballs every day. Now let's add the flavor. I mixed a tablespoon and a half of veggie broth paste into a cup of water. And then I will add to it one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of rosemary, and one teaspoon of thyme. These spices will bring out the flavor and it will smell so good in my house in a couple hours. Now, it's also salt to taste, but I find about a teaspoon is a great place to start. I'll mix all of that together, and then we'll pour the seasonings over the food. Trying to get nice and deep so that those potatoes get all the flavor. You can also add one bay leaf and some pepper, and that's it. I'm gonna cook this on high for about four hours. And dinner is done, look at that. It looks so good. It's hot. <laughs> We have family in town today, and while we go and explore all the museums in DC, I wanna be able to put something in the crock pot so when we come home, after a day of exploring, we have dinner already done. So let me show you just an easy way to make beans so that they're ready for you when you get back home. We'll start by adding a 16 ounce bag of black beans. You do not soak the black beans beforehand, okay? It's going to add more flavor to the beans by not soaking them. Then I have diced one onion and four cloves of garlic minced. And we add one tablespoon of cumin and one teaspoon of dried thyme. So just a teaspoon of dried thyme. And one teaspoon of coriander and some crushed red pepper flakes. Now how much you add is up to you. I'm just gonna add a sprinkle because a bunch of kids will be eating this later tonight. You will also add one bay leaf. To finish this off, we will add three and a half cups of veggie broth. And as you know, I always like to do veggie paste with some water. And to finish everything off, it's one and a half teaspoons of salt or to taste. So you can go more or less with this. At the end, I'll make sure to add in a juice of a lime. And then I'm going to cook this on high for anywhere between four to six hours. And then if you have more time, you can always cook it on low about eight hours. And just a warning, do not try to make this recipe in the Instant Pot. I've done it before and it burned. There's not enough liquid to cook it at high pressure. This is just a slow cooker recipe. All right, what do you guys think of the rice and beans? 10 out of 10. 10, 10. 10 out of oh. 10. What do you think out of the rice of the beans? Uh, one to 10. 10. 10? <laughs> 11. When was the last time you made lentil soup? If the answer was not yesterday, then I think it's time for you to make this slow cooker lentil soup recipe. It's super basic, it's super cheap, it's super easy, and super good for your body. Lots of supers. Let's chop up an onion. We'll add it to our crock pot. Chop up four carrots. Yes, I use my chopper for these two. I love this chopper. Place it in your crock pot. Three celery stalks. We'll add those. 
into that crock pot as well. We'll add two teaspoons of Italian seasoning, one teaspoon salt, one teaspoon smoked paprika, some black pepper, about a half a teaspoon or so, four cloves of garlic, one and a half cups of green lentils, one can diced tomatoes, a dash of red wine vinegar, which is about a teaspoon or two, a half a teaspoon of sugar, and four cups veggie broth, which as you know, I love to do water plus my veggie paste. Now the recipe calls for a 15 ounce can of crushed tomatoes, but I don't know where you find a 15 ounce can. So I'm going to use half of this one. This is a 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes. Turn on high for four hours. Looks awesome. Plus my house is gonna smell amazing. It is done. Look how yummy. I hope you enjoyed these slow cooker recipes today. Make sure to follow along for some Instant Pot recipes or other convenient recipes that you can use when you're on your vegan plant-based diet.